Planet Coaster dev rolling over Atari for unpaid royalties. Pokemon Snap gets a picture-perfect adaptation on the Wii U Virtual Console. Mass Effect Andromeda finally prepares for its arrival. And Conan O'Brien's Clueless Gamer finally gets less clueless with its own TV series. All that and more in today's episode of Last Week's Gaming News. Time to roll the intro! Before I start, I would like to thank you so much guys for the support of the series so far. Last week's gaming news is a passion project of mine, and thank you so much for waiting over the holidays for getting more episodes. Hopefully you enjoyed the best of episode. Uh, I know there wasn't a lot of episodes uh, for the first year, but hopefully this year is full of every week with a new episode for you guys and much as I can. Now without further ado, let's start the episode. For our first article of news this week on last week's gaming news, the developers from Planet Posters are suing Atari for unpaid royalties on their part of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Frontier Developments has calculated that they are owed $3.37 million over royalties of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but were only paid $1.17 million for their work. After Frontier requested an audit for their money owed, Atari put a delay on the money and stopped paying the developer. Since then, the Planet Poster developers have now sued Atari to get their money owed from the royalties. If I can give a tip to the devs at Frontier Developments, I would say please don't hold your breath for Atari to give you any money by just looking at past experience. ET no home! For the thousandth time on last week's gaming news, Pokemon is making the news again last week. As we approach the 18th anniversary of Pokemon Snap, Nintendo has finally released Pokemon Snap on the Wii U Virtual Console for the price of $9.99. What seems like a long overdue thing to happen, and the Nintendo Switch coming in like in a couple of months now, the Pokemon fanbase are pleading Nintendo to finally release a new version of Pokemon Snap to more recent standards. Pokemon Snap on the Wii U Virtual Console has now been available since January 5th, and hopefully you guys will enjoy as much as I did when I was a kid. I don't understand why people are complaining they want another version. They got Pokemon Go they've been spending millions of hours on playing just catching Pokemons and taking pictures of those already. The long-awaited Mass Effect Andromeda release date has finally been released last week. The North America players will finally be able to play the game on March 21st, first before the Europeans which will get the game on March 23rd later in the week. Here's what the boss at Bioware, Aaron Flynn, had to say about the situation. We appreciate your patience, and in fact, even your lack of patience in some instances, as we've been focused on completing the game, Flynn said. Now this is great news for you space explorers that have been playing No Man's Sky for a while, because we know how stale that was getting after a while, about a couple months ago. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I know, I know, I'm just kidding with No Man's Sky, it was just a, a last nail in the coffin before we move on from 2016. Clueless Gamer, the popular sketch from Conan O'Brien's Night Show, has finally been announced that they might be getting a television series. Apparently the guys at Team Coco have been getting a very vast amount of demand for their games to be played on the show, which is the reason why they would turn this into its own television series. Here's what the big boss at TBS, Kevin Riley, had to say about the situation. We've gotten to the point where video game companies are sending us their new product for us to play and make fun of because it's been such a huge success. We're going to go into production on a series of that. Now hopefully, this TV series will help older people figure out that video games don't lead to drug right away because even Conan O'Brien is doing them. Wait, is he... does he do drugs? Uh, it, does, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just, just, just keep going in the video. Keep going. Keep, 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 keep. On to our more weird news of last week, Capcom has finally revealed a collector's edition for the up-and-coming Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which is coming out on January 24th. The collector's edition is priced at $180 American, and will feature multiple items like a mansion music house, a steelbook, a VHS tape box, a lithogram, a creepy note. Now the collector's edition also comes with the dummy finger from the demo, which is a USB port, but when you look at it, it kind of looks like a very, very floppy gadong doing a very flaccid wee wee, an overused trouser snake. In any case or any way you put it, and hopefully you don't put it in yourself, this damn thing looks weird, and the internet has been going crazy over this because it just looks so goddamn weird. J just look at it. Can I make can can I not make it any more obvious? It looks like a goddamn burn wiener. Oh, and if you can't afford the $180 collector's edition, Capcom and Merchoid are coming out with a very weird candle 
which apparently smells like blood. Yes, blood. It's been announced that if you're playing VR, this will help you sort of go into 4D mode of sorts in the game with the help of smells, which is very, very weird. And you'll probably only light it once. And if you feel you can tough out the candle, the candle burns for 15 to 20 hours. I can already smell it now. No, actually I, I can. That's probably the most disgusting smell that, that ever existed. Now onto our dunce of the week. Over at the popular 24 hour news network CNN, they showed an interesting image about hacking when about the Russians or something like that. And it just, it just rings a bell where I've seen this before so many times. I feel like I'm a hacker myself so much I've seen this before. Those hackers are using very, very specific technology. Hmm. So yeah, CNN fucked up and they use a scene from Fallout 4's hacking terminal and the internet pretty much destroyed them over it, making so many different memes I can't even fit them all here at once. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for last week's gaming news. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the comeback for 2017. And of course, if you want to see something different on the show, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment below. Tell me what you would like to see. Anything you want. Uh, can I be funnier? I know I can be funnier. Uh, if you want me to get rid of the stupid hat, which I probably won't. Or anything like that. Hopefully... <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying. I'm enjoying a fun ton. Uh, as you can see, this week there wasn't a lot of good interesting news. Just a lot of stuff to laugh about, pretty much. So if you enjoyed the video, of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Really enjoying you guys subscribing. I want 2017 to be an awesome year for me, for you. And I want your input on everything I do. That's very important to me. I want to try to build a community. I'm not the best at it. Of course, like you can see it. You can get me anywhere, but I don't have where everybody's communicating to get all the people that follow me. Because we're only a hundred, couple something, hundred here, three hundred on Twitch, and blah blah blah. So, of course, I would like to stream more in the new year too, if you guys want to see me stream more. I would like to try to do that, because it's something I where that's pretty much where I started my video recording and stuff like that. So anyway, of course, follow me everywhere, me, Tom Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash me, Tom Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday, Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this week's last week's gaming news. I've been your host, me, Tom Gamer, and I will see you in the next episode. Keep on, keep on.